Alright, Shadows of Evil is finally out, and this will be a video showing you how to unlock the Packet Punch. The recurring thing with doing this is to do things while in beast form. When you first start off the map, you'll find a beast transformation statue looking thing. Before becoming the beast, open the 500 points door. Now it's time to complete the first ritual inside Nero's room. To find a room, turn into the beast and use your tentacles to launch yourself up on the ledge. Before doing this, smash the red box in the beginning area and zap the crane controls right outside the beginning alleyway. By smashing the box you will find a summoning key, this will be needed for all 5 rituals. By zapping the crane you find a pen on the ground needed to complete Nero's ritual. Careful when picking this up as two enemies will spawn. On the early rounds it's a one melee to kill them, so it's recommended to do this as soon as possible. Once you've done those two things, launch yourself up the edge and follow the path to Nero's room. Go through the room and zap the box on the wall to open the path. Once inside the room, place down the pen and start the ritual. You can keep running around in circles until the ritual is complete. There is no need to kill the enemies that spawn, but uh, if, you, if you need to, do it. Pick up the item that shows up at the altar and move on to the next character's ritual. Jessica's ritual site is inside the burlesque house in the footlight district. So open the door, become the beast and use your tentacles to launch yourself up over the big sign. Zap the control box and immediately launch yourself to your left. Run the path like I did in the video but remember to keep, uh, remember to smash the box that contains the, the item before the beast timer runs out. Enter the burlesque house and complete the second ritual. Jack's ritual site is inside the ruby rabbit in the canal district. His ritual item is located inside a box you need to smash open down in the canals. Enter beast form, smash the box and run over to the control box and zap it. Again enter the ruby rabbit and complete the third ritual. Now let's move on to Floyd. Alright, Floyd's ritual site is inside the gym in the waterfront district. His item is close by inside a box on a ledge you need your tentacles to reach. The gym door needs to be smashed open. Grab the item, head to the altar and complete the ritual. Now only the final ritual remains. This is located inside a hidden room down in the subways. You can reach the subways by entering one of the portals found throughout the map. Once down there, approach the wall with the symbols and it will reveal a hidden room. Now you'll have 4 gate worms you obtain by completing the rituals. Place them throughout the map and head over to the altar to start the final ritual. It can be a little bit difficult to run around in here, especially with all the zombies walking around. So do it at the end of a round. Juggernaut is recommended. Once the ritual completes, the shadow man shows up and you'll eventually be able to pack a punch. Hope you enjoyed the video, much more to come. Thank you for watching and have a good day. The Gate Worm's energy must be released! This ritual is unlike any I've encountered in my research. This ritual is unlike any I've encountered in my research.
sure that everything in its place, even... I've 